This is the day, this is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history, a chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching. Stay with us on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. Oh, Chiesa! And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. Oh, surely! And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. played short and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well I think it's fair to say at the start of the tournament not too many were predicting that the Netherlands would make it all the way to the final but that is exactly what has transpired and let's see if they can finish the job here Stuart well in 1988 in Germany they won that game against the Soviet Union in the final can they do it again here I think they can They've been brilliant. Can he put it away? The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. The pie. On to De Jong. Gakpo. Miles from goal and denied by the keeper. Impressive. Keen to take it short here. Tajani Reinders. Uh, given away by the Netherlands. Reinders. Dumfries. And the keeper more than equal to it. How about the short corner? Get proud at. Timely intervention. They got the touch on the ball. A throw in now. Frankie de Jong. Gakpo. And teammates to play it to. De Jong. Oh, good save. And 
the short corner here. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Jorginho. In the right place to cut out the pass. The pie. Ake. Well, as you can see, the Netherlands have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. And some of their play has been really good. And if they continue to control the ball, as they're doing at the moment, I'm sure they get that equaliser. Scalvini. And on to Di Lorenzo. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Jorginho. On the ball, Zaniolo. They look as though they want to make this move count. Very quick thinking there. Daily Blitz. Well, patient passing could be the key to bringing themselves level. And what a magical save it was! <laughs> it's a short corner. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Favouring the short one. Happy to shoot and keeping it out. Well, pressure building, another corner. They take it short. And Dyke. Jorginho. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Giacomo Raspadori. And the referee allowing the play to flow. Opportunity. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Okay. On to De Jong.
Well, possession ceded by the Netherlands. Plenty of running room in the wide position. The cutback. And the danger is averted. Strength and control, a big part of his game. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Incisive pass. Chiesa. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. is looking rather comfortable for them 3-0 Virgil van Dijk Frankie de Jong Nathan Ake here you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think and a yellow card it's going to be Stuart yeah the ref's got that right it's a yellow card all day long Oh, good run this now what can he do with it an alert piece of defending Giovanni Di Lorenzo Reinders Dumfries good looking cross and a confident clearance he takes aim and did just enough defensively and they will make the change now And taken short. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. And the substitution will occur now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Perfect tackle. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Getting forward.
That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. De Jong. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Barella. to be advised giving the ball away in that position and credit to the Netherlands for winning the ball back 20 minutes to go he have tried it and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end and playing it through. Davide Fratesi. Nicely timed tackle. Frankie De Jong. De Jong. at defending Gianluca Scamacca Nathan Ake here Marlin Memphis still could be dangerous cleared away comprehensively what was the chance they could get caught out on the break here Chiesa. No let up here. Barella. A pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Now sending it in. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. It's a short one. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Had no interest in losing possession. Gertrauda. Ake. Dumfries. And the pie on the ball. Gakpo. Marlin. Can he take advantage? Full credit, wonderful stop. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. And mopping up defensively. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Perfect challenge. Simons. Gakpo. And still looking to get the shot away. And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there.
So the corner played into the box. Read it well, cleared it well. And there goes the final whistle. Italy have won the Euros again on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing.